Large language models are everywhere now. We use them to write emails, generate ideas, summarize documents, and so much more, all with a simple prompt. But behind the scenes, these AI models usually rely on huge data centers, powerful GPUs, and lots of energy. So, have you ever wondered if it's possible to run an AI model on something as small as a Raspberry Pi? That's exactly what we set out to explore. We're testing DeepSeek R1, an open-source LLM designed to be lightweight enough to run locally, and seeing how far we can push it on a Raspberry Pi 5. No cloud, no data centers. Just a pie on your desk running AI. Welcome to Black Device YouTube channel. To follow this project, you'll need a Raspberry Pi 5, a micro SD card and a card reader, a power supply, a keyboard, monitor, and cables for your Pi. To run this DeepSeek test, we're using a Raspberry Pi 5, which features a 2.4 GHz ARM processor and 8 GB of RAM. First, flash Raspberry Pi OS onto the micro SD using Raspberry Pi Imager. Once flashed, insert the card into the Pi, power it on and wait for the OS to boot. Now, open the SSH terminal and confirm everything is updated by running the commands. sudo apt update. And then, sudo apt upgrade y. We'll need curl to download files from the web. If it's not installed right, sudo apt install curl. Next, install Alima, a tool that lets you run and manage LLMs locally. It simplifies everything and is compatible with ARM processors like the Pi. Now we're ready to run DeepSeek on our Pi. DeepSeq, R1 comes in several versions. Of course, models like GPT-4 or DeepSeq V3 are way beyond what a Raspberry Pi can handle, but smaller versions? They might just work. So we tested four of them, 1.5b, 7b, 8b, and 14b, to measure how well each one performs. For each test, we asked the same two questions. Name three key milestones in space exploration. Translate to English this sentence written in Spanish. La Raspberry Pi 5 permite experimentar con IA en local sin depender de la nube. We use the dash dash verbose parameter with each run to get extra data like generation speed and resource usage. Here's what we found. 1.5 be downloaded quickly, about 1 gigabyte, and responded fast. Answers came in under a minute and translation worked well. But when it came to more factual tasks like space history, it got some key facts wrong, including the date of the Curiosity rover mission. 7B was a different story. It took longer to download, and responses appeared word by word, one every second. The answers were more detailed, but still included occasional factual errors, even misnaming the first man on the moon. 8B gave us the best performance. It downloaded 5.2 gigabytes and produced accurate, relevant answers. The translation sounded more natural, and the historical facts were finally correct. 14B? We couldn't run it. The Pi's 8 gigabytes of RAM wasn't enough. We hit an out-of-memory error. This version requires at least 10 gigabytes of RAM. So, it'll have to wait for a future test, maybe on our ARM cluster? On our blog, you'll find our step-by-step -step guide so you can replicate these tests and run the different versions of DeepSeek on your Raspberry Pi 5. Check the link in the description. What did we learn? Even with limited resources, the Raspberry Pi 5 can run real LLMs locally. And for simple tasks like translations or quick lookups, it actually performs quite well. You can even dedicate your Pi to DeepSeek, leave it running, and access it remotely using Raspberry Pi Connect. If you don't know how to set up Pi Connect, check this video. Beyond that, these tests are more than just fun, they're benchmarks. They give us a clear reference for how each model behaves on minimal hardware, which we'll use to compare against more powerful environments, like our custom ARM cluster project. Subscribe for more experiments, tutorials, and tech builds. Thanks for watching.